Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name's TRP Strife, and this is Doom. Oh, I've been having so much fun with this game. I can't wait to play the next level. Continue game, please. Broken free from your prison, pitted against evil, the cycle begins anew. To discover the cause of the demonic invasion, first locate and align the communication satellite in the resource operation facility. Great! Does Doom Guy actually know how to fix things? Ah, there we go. Hello, I am Vega, the sentient Hi. intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that when completed will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Challenge missions are activated when the mission begins and completing the reward. Uh, great, sounds awesome. How do I do it? I take it, that's me. And that's the objective. All right, that seems straightforward enough. It's always been crazy how fast Doom Guy runs. Main power offline. All entrances non-operational. Vega 1. Running the Argent facility takes a lot of power, not just electrical and mechanical power, but computational power. With so many interdependent systems feeding off a single power source, the UAC decided it would need to create a central mainframe computer to manage not only the flow of Argent energy, but the day-to-day -day operations of the facility with over 60,000 employees. This mega computer, the brainchild of Samuel Hayden, head of the UAC, would exceed the computational ability of any system before it, and more importantly, would be recognized as the first truly autonomous artificial intelligence entity. They named it Vega. Okay, and apparently he's going to help me do upgrades to my stuff. Through challenges. Hi, I see you. Nice of you to get stopped. Bye. Boom. One more. Ooh, creepy. Okay. A very broken door. Barrels I could have used to blow up people. New I don't... power offline. All entrances non operational. Does this mean I can actually use this or no? Hehe, <laughs> I guess I get to use it after all. Thanks for just running up here to me, buddy. Make my job easy. What is making all that noise? Are you down there? I need a damn flashlight or something. I can't see. How do we get down there? You, just shut up. You're too loud. I can't use this. There's no power. Yes, I understand that. Can I just like... Oh, I can open this door like this. That's if you stop by. Yeah, that's the only way I could have gone. So, all right. Thanks. I beat you to it. Hi. Don't you feel silly? Oh, I can actually see up here. Restart the power, please. Thank you. Oh, jeez. That is blinding. I believe in honesty. 
Well, that's they nice. Know. And what will be your final moments in this world? Do you know who I am? The human sacrifices. Oh, this is previously recorded. Let's just keep talking. The demons. It's all true. My sisters and brothers, be thankful. You will be the first. You will have a seat alongside them, just as I will, in what will become the new world that they create for us. You Starting are batshit crazy, now. aren't you? Alrighty then. Map. Likes me some map, please. Hello? I believe in honesty. Oh, it's repeating. Especially now. In okay, I won't be able to read that until I get away from that. Alright. Now that I can't hear her yapping in my ear anymore. What did it say about the environment? Resource Operations. The Resource Operations Center, referred to ResOps, was one of the first facilities constructed on the Mars space after the discovery of the Argent Fracture. It encompasses several key areas needed to run the facility, including plasma extraction and processing, isotope stabilization, heavy metal and ore mining, artifact analysis, communication networkings, and off-world transportation. New UAC employees posted to, to the Mars facility are expected to fulfill a tour of a tour of duty in the ResOps before moving on to a specialized career bracket. Security clearance level one allows access to all areas of ResOps, including the Vega networking hubs for some satellite control centers. For access to these locations, new advocates must submit a Delta Q Delta form to the department enforcer. Department departmental enforcer that oh please shut up hey guys I can actually get down there where you're at now Yammer on any longer. <laughs> to you too. What is that? There's something moving very fast around here. Especially now. And what will be your final moment? Anyway, map. Where am I at? Okay, it looks like the only way to go is forward. I can do that. In this world, all the movements, the human sacrifices. Not going through that door. I thought I got hung up on something there. Hi. Sorry for the bad aim here lately. Don't mean to make you suffer. Well, maybe I do. Where's that last one? That was disorienting. Yes, yes. Is there a way to, like, end this loop? You will be the first. You will have a seat alongside them just as I will. Rip it open. Juicy. Possessed engineers. During the Lazarus Wave event, victims undergo dramatic changes to their physiology, both internally and externally. Aside from the fundamental changes, the composition of their... In of their internal organs, 
The highly intensified plasma wave is strong enough to fuse metal to skin in many cases. Personal items such as watches and jewelry can burn through the skin and become permanently embedded in the victim. Perhaps the most unfortunate victims of these fusing events are any subjects that happen to be working with acetylene tanks and equipment. As the equipment is often attached to the body to allow for mobile work in low gravity environments, the Lazarus wave will create a demonized human with a highly combustible explosive device embedded in its skin. Neat! As with all possessed creatures, they are mindless and driven through some form of telepathic communications from an unknown demon overseer. Additional care must be taken when confronting a possessed engineer. If the fuel tank is punctured and it doesn't explode, the weakened container can turn the engineer into an explosive projectile. This is a danger to any being nearby, both human and demon. Neat. Choose it. Oh wait, there was a path back there I didn't take. Really? Really, really? No, there wasn't. I can't go through here. It is locked. And I won't see another. You shut up, lady. Hello. Demonic presence at unsafe level. Lockdown. Anything. Oh, yeah, I have grenades. Slow down. Breathe. Damn it. Walked into that one. Damn you. Yeah, don't need you around over there. Really, I'm out of ammo. That's not good. <laughs> How about some bullets? I'll take a grenade, but damn, I missed a lot there. I'm not shooting very well this morning. Can I jump that far? Okay. Environment. Now what? To new advocates. And in the vision they saw the future, bold and powerful, and the many worked as one to bring the new order. What better words to inspire you as you set about initiating yourself into the UAC? Those who came before you and those you serve with all operate with the same goal in mind, the development of a new dawn for mankind. It is this principle of teamwork that we will elevate ourselves to the next plane of existence. If you have any new suggestions to improve the work environment while working your tenure at ResOps, please, in please submit the suggestion form. WAD E1M4. <laughs> the 
the wide files is how they used to do uh, custom maps for the old Doom games. To your command controller. However, it is imperative that you learn to accept that things you can't change and follow the path that has been laid out before you. Your service in ResOps is to test your devotion to the cause. Should you be asked to submit yourself to an interrogations program or experimental treatment, you're expected to comply without question. Screw these guys. If your fellow advocates asks you to engage in a dedicated ceremony, say yes. If you see an advocate doubting their role in the UAC, bring it to the attention of the enforcers so that they might receive the help they need. Don't be selfish. Tier 2 is for everyone. Yeah, I would say these guys could go straight to hell, but they already are there. And there's nothing over here. Alright. Oh, it's a drum. I see you, Chainsaw. I'll get you in a minute. I just need to have some ammo, damn it. Here at the UAC, we take pride in nurturing a growing workforce, and each year we harvest only the best of the best. Are you ready to move up? To take on new challenges? To become more Must than be a health station or so. Talk to your supervisor to see if you meet the requirements for this year's soul harvest. Soul harvest? Look, all I want is the great communicator right here. Mm. The chainsaw is a special, specialized melee weapon that is accessed by pressing G. Using a chainsaw requires fuel. The bigger the demon, the more you need. Cutting a demon apart with a chainsaw will always drop a surplus of ammunition. It would cost 1, 3, or 5 fuel to kill a demon depending on its size. Upgrading your ammo capacity with Argent Cells will also increase your fuel capacity. Okay. I don't really understand. Yeah, I just read that. Thank you. What button was it for that? It was... There have been reports of this item being seen at the Argent facility, though there are no known uses for it. Security personnel have been made aware that this item has likely been smuggled onto Mars and have been directed to confiscate it immediately. As there are no practical uses for it, it must be assumed that this item should be considered a black market enthusiast weapon. Okay, I'll go with that. Food? Here at the UAC, we take pride in nurturing a growing workforce, and each year we harvest only the best of the best. A... Are you ready to move Shut on? up. To take on new challenges? To become more than you ever dreamed you could be? Talk to your supervisor to see if you meet the requirements for this. How do I get so in there? Where is in there? Map. Okay, I can get in there. Wow, this is really hard to see what I'm doing with these multiple levels. Wow. Angry people, huh? Step up! Ow, that really hurt. I just had to try it. Get my ass kicked. Why am I sucking so bad today? Ultra violence, maybe? How does this work? Shut up! Medical health station. 
All right, Health Station. The USA Health Station follows the same standard design and specifics as its predecessor, the Health Pack, but with improved nanobot dispersion and faster cellular analysis. When the patient's arm is inserted into the administration sleeve, the Health Station initiates a microscopic atomic force scan on the subject and administers a nano package that targets cellular deficiencies. Chem clusters are then doses to the patient which stimulate rapid recovery. Some users experience lightheadedness when using a health station. This can be cured by reinserting the patient's arm into the machine and running it a second time. This step can be repeated as often as necessary. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Where am I? Yeah, that doesn't make things any easier. Locked. Access denied. Yellow security limits required. Okay, hold on just a second. That requires the level two. And that's where the upgrade piece was, I believe. That dude looks very dead. That's gas. Did I get stuck in here? Really? Okay. Where is the echo thing? This is the echo. Well. Well, I'm not really sure. I guess this is the only way I can go. Let's hope I don't get squished. Yay, ammo for me. Always nice when people put ammo in the air ducts. You guys sound so cheerful. Damn you noisy. Yeah. was it? Okay, that's the door that I couldn't get through because it was locked. So dummy ran down this way. Did he go up here? Access nope, down. that's a yellow key yellow card. So we had to go this way. Five. What's that symbol even mean? Hope if everything was on the legend. That's locked. That's locked. You're dead. This is broke. Don't. It's not nice. Hey guys, let's have some fun. Yeah. 
Nice. I know what's gonna happen when I touch that. Let's see what we got around here real quick. Okay, so I got a quick way up if I need it. Hi, let's just rip this out. Damn it, stuck. Come back here. Switch weapons. I really don't like those guys. Damn! It's intense on Doctor Violence. Hop. <laughs> wow, no commentary there, just way too busy beating something else's ass and trying not to get killed. Wow. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I get it, you went in there. I just don't really like having that be the button it is, but it'll work.
Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and maybe leave me a comment down below. Also, check me out on social media. Here's the link to the playlist for the video you just watched, and the link to the newest video on my channel. Stay awesome, and I'll catch you next time.